All right, let's bring in independent journalist Matt Taibbi of Racket News. Good to have you, my friend, as always. So I had Yuri Berliner on. I believe that he was coming in good faith, that he had good faith concerns about groupthink of the lefty extreme variety at NPR. They suspend him for what I believe was probably legitimate but fugazi reason, that he didn't ask for permission. He then resigns. Um, then Steve Inskeep, famous name at NPR, writes this kind of serial rebuttal on his substack that I felt uh, was uh, selective in defending NPR more than it was trying to address what Yuri's concerns are. Then today, there's a letter from the staff that comes out that is basically an admission that they want as much wokeness injected into the process of how NPR does business as possible. What is your take on the situation and how real any concern is? I think even more shocking than Yuri's original article at the Free Press uh, was the reaction of the, the staff at NPR. Uh, you know, a lot of the things that he brought up had nothing to do with politics or wokeness or even left or right. They were really more just down the middle uh, ethical concerns about how you practice journalism. For instance, you can't ignore a story because it, quote unquote, could help Trump. Uh, that's whether it was Trump or Biden, you, you, you can't make that calculation. The issue there isn't left or right. It's, it's just not reporting a newsworthy story or uh, putting on a source that you have concerns about, like Adam Schiff, 25 times. Uh, when you increasingly feel that the evidence is not supported, as he as he described uh, in his piece, those are just standard issue factual reporting problems. I don't think Yuri, Yuri Berliner is anti woke or to the left, and nothing about his background suggests that. Uh, and for the staff to to try to cast this as a partisan attack and an attack on who we are and an attack on the whole idea of trying to to diversify. I think um, it's kind of shocking. It, sh it's, it shows actually the group think that he was talking about. Uh, it actually brings it into greater relief, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, I get why people who work there would be pissed off, uh, especially if they believe that they are not part of what Yuri is talking about. Everybody got painted with the same brush. I, I get that. But in that letter, I mean, you, you know, you, you tell me, Matt, you, you know, you got a better mind on this. But it seemed like they said, hey, we don't like the way you reacted to this, bosses at NPR. And we want to talk about DEI. We want to talk about all these affinity groups and that these things are supposed to be more a part of our editorial process. And it seems like this guy's complaints got more attention than this. So it seemed like they heard what he said about his concern about groupthink of the progressive variety. And then they basically demonstrated the desire for that kind of groupthink. Right. And this has been kind of a feature of sort of the modern newsrooms lately. And I, and I hate to say this because I was always the kind of person who was out on the, the side of the staff always in any kind of dispute with management. Um, but there's been a lot of the sort of inmates running the asylum vibe that, that runs through journalism these days where uh, there are a lot of demands that are being made of editors about you know what we can and cannot cover and what the general directions of organizations should be. Um, that's why we have editors and that's why journalists do journalism. Mm -hmm. And it, what, what ends up happening when you have that situation is that uh, neither does their job. Uh, the editors don't edit and the, the reporters don't report because they're so worried about the overall direction of the organization and what message you're sending. I mean, I was trained, I'm sure Chris, this is the same for you. Like I was trained not to care about the political impact of right. anything I reported on. It was however the story turned out, I'll do it. You know, it's up to the, the viewers to figure yeah. it out. Um, and they've gotten so far away from that, that it's sending a message that I think is gonna be very difficult for them to kind of rescue the brand of NPR, which had a great brand for a long time. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.